Okay, so I want to make some blackout windows for my car so I can sleep in it overnight. I want them to be cheap, easy, and quick to make. And I'm no expert. I definitely don't know what I'm doing with this type of thing. So they might not be pretty, but I'll definitely make them work. And I'm going to be using three things, a marker pen, a pair of scissors, and one of the major players of the car camping world, Thermorap. It costs this much. You can buy it from here and it looks like this with the wrapper on. So I've watched an absolute load of YouTube videos trying to work out how to do this properly and I think my main problem is going to be actually getting the template around the window and I've seen people do it with material and I've seen people stick pieces of paper up and get a proper template like that but I think I'm going to employ a little bit of a more simpler tactic where I cut a piece of length, shove it in, mark it and then just cut it down to size bit by bit thereafter so let's see how that goes. I'm really not sure why I chose that music. It's not like I'm folding an ancient Japanese sword or anything, and I'm definitely not a master at this because I made a few mistakes. Rookie mistake number one then. Um, put this one in and thought it actually sat, if I can just show you, absolutely perfect. It's all snuck on the line up there. And it's doing exactly, i just push it in. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's kind of sitting in like, Oh, I don't know, there's like a gap between the wind, the actual glass and this rubber bit, so you can sort of slide it in there. But what I forgot is there's obviously a really deep one at the bottom, which is what I want to put it in first. And when I put that in, I got a gap. Doodly bop, doodly bop. Another mistake I made was on the original window. I didn't put it in the edit, but uh, down here is the original template. And as I was trimming, I basically trimmed too much off the edge here. And when I stuck it up against the window, there was a little bit of light coming through. So this one in the window here is actually the redesigned version Mark II. And the final mistake I made was on this back window, trying to get it to come over this lump. I made one, two, three cuts and it fit nicely but then i realized if i leave cuts over time they're just going to tear and split the whole thing up so i ended up just taping them up a little bit and that seems fine now so one final thing i will say if you're going to try and do this yourself yes i've only done five windows but that roll i got was seven and a half meters and all my windows measure for about seven meters and i've got quite a long mpv so that's going to be enough to do most windows all round in normal cars but i will say if you do it in your front window screen you are going to have to cut two lengths and attach them together because the material is not quite wide enough i would probably use something like a firmer wrap actual tape which you can get for about 10 pounds one final thing I'll say about the front window, if it doesn't stay up of its own accord like the other ones do, then you could use the option of using suction cups, which just push through the material and then will obviously stick to the glass. Probably six or eight is going to hold the whole thing up. Obviously these are about as basic as you can get and I may upgrade them at a later date with double lining. I may also put some tape around the edges to strengthen them. I will trim them a little bit more down to size for a snugger fit and I may wrap them in some black material. But for 13 quid, there's no light getting in, and these were the next thing I needed for sort of proper car camping, so I'm pretty chuffed with them. And if any of you are wondering why I've only done five windows in my car, it's because I want to separate this back area to make it a separate little room. So I'm going to be hanging up some blackout material along here behind the front and passenger seat. So if you want to see how that goes, and if you want to check out some of my car camping adventures and fails, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button, bell and notification and I'm uploading about every two weeks. So I hope to see you in one of those videos and as for now, good luck with your windows, enjoy the car camping and stay selfie.